quite a bit of discussion going on about pedals and steering and trying to figure out how to flip brackets and things like that. I'm not sure how tall people are, how big their feet are, or what the reasoning is behind trying to re-engineer all this, but I think a lot of it is just being overthought. There's even some questionable, um, as far as like how solid some of these steering brackets are mounted. And once you have all your steering in, nothing moves at all. Um, it's all extremely firm. So I think a lot of overthinking going on here as far as how everything fits together everywhere. What I'll do is I'll show you how, what this looks like once I put the dash back on too. Uh, seems to fit exactly where it should. I'm six foot one with a size 11 shoe and I have zero issues, you know, running between my two pedals here between brake and gas and clutch. And then I have zero issue with way the steering came through here either. You know, you can, I have that joint pulled up as tight as I can, you know, and then I've got this one mounted with just one set of holes below the dash. So up flush with the dash, you could cut it off and actually bring it up a hair more if you needed to, if you wanted a, a steeper angle right here. So anyway, I'll throw the dash on and show everybody how this fits. I've had the seat in, I sat in here. It fits really nice. Um, let you know. Here's a follow up with the steering wheel set in, the dash is in place where it belongs, left and right. The steering wheel comes through almost exactly perfectly in the flat part of the, flat part of the dash. You can see I have a little rubber boot in there just to clean it up a little bit, but that hole is almost dead center in that flat part of the dash. You can see underneath again, I used the, all of the joints as they were basically intended. You could pop this up. Like I said, you could cut that bracket off and increase that angle just a hair, which would bring that column up a little bit more in this flat part here on that dash. I would guess probably a half inch or more. You know, so if you did wanna get that out of your way, but you're not really accomplishing anything because it's already past your feet at that point. So that's how I did mine. Um, you know, everyone can do them however they choose. I think a lot of people are just putting way more effort than needed in this. So anyway, pedals, brake lines back there. Um, and then this is how my steering wheel mounts. And I do have that so it does crush into the sleeve, you know, at least a few inches. For some reason you need that to happen, hope you never do.